Ah! So peeps, it's Oz. See, I got the nastiest and strangest sounding food I could find in Japan. Even nastier than natto. I got it from this shop, the Hokkaido New Discovery Factory. But before I show you what's inside, I gotta wonder what was going on in the people's heads who created this crap. And how did it get approved? I mean, it's the equivalent as if you were in North America and somebody suggested this kind of food. All right, guys, listen up. I have the best idea. This is gonna be our 30 second flavor, okay? So we've got vanilla ice cream. And to this French vanilla ice cream, we're going to add some Tabasco syrup. That's right. I call this Tabice cream. Mmm. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm just going to finish the whole bottle. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, this is... <coughs> this is really good. <coughs> The burning in your throat just adds to the effect. That would never happen. Or imagine this crazy idea. Yes, Jimmy, what is it? So I was thinking, Americans love Coke, and they love tuna, so I've invented Tula. Tula. What exactly is Tula? It's tuna plus cola, and it's the new power drink. All right, let's give it a shot. Well, what do you think? Jimmy, this is genius. This is gonna be better than Red Bull. Well, if either of those two products look delicious to you, maybe you might like this. So I'm gonna show you four products. Let's start off with the most normal product if you can call it normal. So these are a box of caramels, which is pretty normal, right? But wait till you see the flavor. Roast corn, only Hokkaido taste. We would play in a forest and would catch the fish in a brook. There are wilderness on the earth, so we have to keep on protecting. We want to design our way of life in northern land Hokkaido. So they're square little, I guess they're more like taffy candy rather than caramels. You know what this tastes like? It tastes exactly like Captain Crunch. I love Captain Crunch, so I'm gonna say this is an awesome snack. I guess you should never judge a snack by its cover. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Everyone loves gummy bears, right? Well, this is a package of gummies, or in Japanese, pronounced gumi. But unlike gummy bears that have regular flavors like, I don't know, orange or lemon, this one is tomato gumi. That's right, tomato flavored gummy snacks. Mm mm mm. Only the Italians could see this. All right. Okay. Well, it actually smells like a can of tomatoes, which is good if you wanted a can of tomatoes. Not really good if you want gummies. Well, it's a round gummy, but it has some kind of weird salt on it too. All right, here goes nothing. So there is a sweet gummy flavor to this, but there's definite tomato flavoring to it. It's like a salty tomato with like a sweet center. I don't know, some people might like this, but not my cup of tea. And now this is when the snacks start getting a little bit more crazy. And Hokkaido, which is famous for milk, has one of the most famous creamy chocolates available in Japan. However, something else that Hokkaido is known for is its soup curry. You see where I'm going with this. Here we have chicken soup curry flavored chocolate. If only the Indians could see this. Something good is that it doesn't smell like curry. It just smells like chocolate. And it has little pictures of animals too. It's kind of cute. All right, let's dig into the soup curry chocolate. Kind of tastes like coffee. <sighs> With the curry aftertaste. Ah. 
definitely curry in here. It's a bit spicy. All right, so imagine you have some curry and you accidentally drop a bottle of Hershey chocolate syrup in it. And then you put it in the fridge and you let it congeal for a few days. Then you decide to take a bite. There you have this chocolate. Now I'm not gonna say it's terrible. It's actually better than the tomato gummies. And another snack I found similar to soup curry, it's chocolate, miso ramen chocolate. So take that famous ramen, add it with the chocolate, and you have miso ramen chocolate. Another unique to Hydro chocolate. I wonder why. Probably for the first time ever on YouTube. Somebody eating miso ramen chocolate. Okay, so the roasted corn caramels tasted like Captain Crunch, so kind of like roasted corn. And the tomato gummies definitely tasted like tomato gummies. And the soup curry chocolate actually did taste like soup curry with chocolate. However, I'm gonna call false advertising on this one. There's no flavor at all except for chocolate. Very disappointed. I was expecting some nasty chocolate that would make me puke. Anyway, there you have it. Some of the nastiest or so I thought snacks that I could find. So from the four things I showed you, which one would you like to try? The reason I ask is because I'm thinking I'm gonna give one of those away. So in the comment section, just write which of the four you'd like to try and I'll randomly choose a comment and if I choose you, then I'll send you the snack you wanted. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.